If you're on this conference call right now, you were invited by someone who cares for you. Uh, your conference fees have been paid. We are on the line. This is America's Debt Freedom Conference Call, and uh, I'm going to be your host today. This is Jason, and we're talking with two very, very, very special people that we've got on the line today for America's Debt Freedom Call. We've got um, two very special people. Let me just say one thing. If you're on this call, if you're living in an area that has real estate that has adjusted in price, your home is not worth what it used to be worth, you've got some sort of financial heartache, you've got one of those real tricky, funny mortgages that keeps adjusting on you, you've lost your job, you have a family member that's lost a job, um, this is the call for you to be on. Press 5 right now. You'll be able to get a hold of one of the experts at the Loan Modification Outlet, and I just want to make the introductions. We've got, from the Loan Modification Outlet, uh, the founder, we've got Brian Dornan on the phone, and along with Brian, we've got a very special guest. We've got Evan. Um, Evan graduated top of his class, University of Baltimore, very, very high and very powerful legal and real estate attorney, um, working uh, you know, all throughout the United States uh, on behalf of Americans. And I just want to thank bo both you gentlemen for being here. Brian, I just uh, want to introduce yourself a little bit. Um, so you're you're with Loan Modification Outlet. What what do you guys do? How how does this work, Brian? Well, thanks, Jason. Thanks for having me. Uh, basically, Loan Modification Outlet, we're helping out distressed homeowners, borrowers who are unable to refinance, who do not have the ability because they don't qualify, either. Uh, their house is underwater, or they don't have income documentation that's sufficient with today's guidelines. Now, when you so say underwater, not, you're not talking about a flood. What no, do you mean by that? No, no, no. I, I mean their mortgage balance or mortgage balances, first and second mortgage, exceed the value of their house. That's a common scenario these days. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I know you work very closely with Evan on the line. Um, and because you do, you do get a legal team involved in, in these situations. Evan, uh, why don't you just uh, tell everybody on the line a little bit about, about yourself and what, what you do. Oh, okay. Um, I've been uh, practicing real estate attorney since 1991, and since 1998 I've owned a title and escrow company. Uh, covers basically all 50 states. I've conducted probably about 25,000 closings in the last uh, 10 years. And... Uh, with the slowdown in the mortgage refinancing and seeing how many people that are currently delinquent on their loans and depreciating values, um, I've switched uh, the other side of the fence, and so to speak, and, and helping homeowners now try to modify their current mortgages that they're in to help them out. Now, now what does that mean? Uh, and, and either one of you can address this. I mean, um, what does that mean? Does that are you talking? You're not talking about refinancing. What, what you're talking about is. Uh, people just just like the uh, the private folks on the line I, um, that obviously their payment has adjusted to a level where they can't make it or their home is not worth what it used to be worth something has happened to them either personally financially or with their real estate but you're not talking about refinancing you're, you're actually saying the banks will negotiate with consumers in order to lower their payments is, it, is this true is this how it works yeah exactly basically we're negotiating with the lenders directly on behalf of the borrowers, and that's why uh, you know, it's imperative to have a legal team like Evans behind you. You're dealing straight with the lenders, and we're having great success getting the payments lowered and really giving people mortgage relief. And, and what, what type of people, uh, Evan, on your end, what, 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 what allows you to qualify for this? Is it, is it very, very difficult? Or, I mean, I know that uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. You were saying – that it, the federal government is actually mandating that the banks negotiate with uh, their customers to keep them in their homes. Is that, is that true? Yes, under the current mortgage crisis that we're in, um, it's kind of a catch-22. The property values are depreciating. You have a lot of um, arms, adjustable rate mortgages that are resetting. You have some uh, unfortunate people that are good quality people in all walks of, all walks of life that are currently getting laid off. Um, so basically, banks, uh, rather than sitting on a non-performing asset and having to take property back and sit on it and manage it for years and years and years, the government now is mandating them with the taxes, taxes, uh, toxic asset ballot is to go ahead and modify these mortgages, which helps everybody, helps the consumer, helps the bank, and invariably will help the government. I mean, this is this is incredible. If you're on the line right now, I just want to take this opportunity. If you're listening to this call, it's a very private conference call. 
your conference fees have been paid. If you are one of these people, if you have um, real estate that's not worth what it used to be worth, if you're struggling to make your house payment, you don't have enough money to pay your bills, if you've got uh, a family member who's uh, lost their job, if you've lost your job, if you've had um, a decrease in your income, a lot of people have had decreases in income, something has changed from your scenario from when you bought your home is the bottom line, and you are having a tough time. Press 5 on your phone right now. Press 5 on your phone. Get a hold of, of – uh, you can get a hold of Brian and his team at Loan Mod Corp. He will get his legal staff involved with your situation – and you will stop this situation from happening. You have options. You do not have to lose your home. You can press 5 on your phone right now. They're standing by. They're waiting to talk to you. And uh, I just have a question for you, Evan. Um, what, what types of scenarios have you seen? Have you worked out with the lenders? Can you give us some examples of, of some savings and some situations that uh, some of your clients have, have uh, some of the things you've seen take place? Uh I'll give you a typical example. Um, most clients these days, if you have any mortgage lates, can't refinance. Uh, despite what they tell you, FHA and guidelines, the, the, the financing market's much dried up, a refinancing market. So a typical borrower will be 30 to 60 to 90 days late. Um, the lender's starting to put some heat on them, uh, threatening maybe foreclosure. Uh, when we're retained, we go ahead and immediately stop any thoughts of, of foreclosure and start the negotiating process. What we're able to do is we do an automated valuation report and figure out what the house is worth, number one, so we have a benchmark of what it's worth. Uh, number two, we, we look at the interest rate, whether it's fixed or adjustable, um, and whether there's in a negative amortization loan, which means that each day their loan keeps going up and up and up and the value keeps going down and down and down. Um, we get a brief explanation of their financial history uh, presented to the bank in a very elaborate way and, and format. And we're very successful in, A, uh, reducing the interest payment, uh, number one. Number two, reducing the amount of the monthly payment. What, what, uh, type of, what type of savings have you seen with some of, your, uh, some of, some of, the, some of the, thing, the projects you've worked on? What, well, what are, are, are there any examples that stand out? The other day we did a lady named Miss Jones. Um, don't want to get, you know, for privacy issues, but Miss Jones was in about a $4,000 interest-only payment. Her house was about worth $400,000 at the time of uh, financing this, and Miss Jones basically was, was upside down. We were basically able to cut her payment almost in half, um, and that was a really good situation. The amount that she was behind, she was currently behind like $16,000 for payments and uh, pretty much the lender agreed to eat every one of those fees. Um, so we restructured that. Another situation um, is common. So, so, you, so in that scenario, what you're able to do is you're able to go and negotiate with the lender. You had them wipe out the back debt and moving forward cut the payment in almost in half. I mean, that, this, is, this is absolutely amazing. I mean, right. um, I'm sorry, go ahead. You, were gonna, you had another scenario. That lender was particularly aggressive. Now, not all lenders will go ahead and, and wipe out the amount that you're behind, but this one, in the best interest of the borrower, the best interest of the bank, they determined that was a, a situation. They'd rather have something than nothing. Um, other situations, um, we were able to take uh, uh, adjustable rate mortgages and, and, and turn them fixed for a period of time, uh, stop the negative amortization so they're not losing value, and in some cases, we've been able to actually reduce the principal amount of the original loan amount uh, by doing a valuation report and showing the lender that the house is not worth 400, the house was worth closer to 200, and that the payments should be made on the $200,000 house. So actual principal reduction. Uh, that is. So if you're in one of these situations, if you're listening to this call, if you'd like to, if you'd like to work with Evan, it is absolutely available to you. If you want to work with Brian and his team and work with Evan, it is available to you. If if uh, you'd like to cut your house payment in half without refinancing, if 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 you qualify, which uh, Brian and Evan and his team will will figure out how to how to work that out for you. Press five on your phone right now. The team, uh, the team at the loan modification outlet, they're standing by. They want to talk to you. Uh, we just need to make a note. And Brian, you can address this. Obviously, these are very sensitive issues for people. Uh, privacy is a very big deal. Sensitivity is a very big deal. Um, and and you could talk a little bit about about that. But also, tell us about what is the time frame, Brian, that these types of situations. How long does it take these things um, to take place? 